Hello everyone, this is Herman smith Sosa with Mbutu Speaks. Once again, I've had the wonderful opportunity to meet someone who is choosing to live an Mbutu lifestyle, which means, you know, understanding the importance of human interconnectedness, choosing to help others with their talent and their genius. As we all know from a brother, a Bruce George, who lets us know all the time that genius is common. The wonderful opportunity of meeting someone who is living an Mbutu lifestyle, which means that he understands understands the importance of human interconnectedness. He understands the importance of impacting our world and leaving a legacy. So today, Andre mm -hmm. is going to let us know how he's using his voice to impact our world. But please introduce yourself first. Hello world. My name is uh, Joe Andre. I am a singer. I am a writer. Uh, but more impor importantly, I'm, I'm a guy looking to make a difference in the world through doing what I do. So when you hear the phrase, I am who I am because we all are, what does that mean to you? What does that say to you? It says to me that we are primarily all the same. I am who I am because we all are who we are. We are just who we are. Um, I do think we are varying degrees of you know greatness or ungreatness or what however you want to characterize it but you know at the point where we decide and put our will and our energy towards um, changing or creating whatever type of reality that we want okay. then you know that's what it'll be so having been a, a fan of yours for some time now <laughs> your voice inspires me and also gives me a message every time I hear it. Thank you. So, ha could you please explain to our Mbutu Speaks viewers what you're doing with your voice and how you're choosing to impact the world with the gift that you've been given, with your genius, which I believe is your voice. Well, thank you, first of all. Second of all, um, music has always been a part of me. It's just when I got older, I started to understand um, the true impact of it you know I'm sure everybody has experienced listening to something in another language you didn't understand the language but the music still moved you oh, yeah. in a certain type of way and that's when I started to get into vibrations and certain keys triggering um, certain feelings or inspirations in people so when they say music is the universal language um, I would have to agree um, certain instrumentals with no words at all bring about certain feelings. So what I do is I try to use my music to inspire people to be great or the greatest version of themselves. Oh, because, I love that. The greatest mm -hmm. version of themselves. Okay. Be Why is that important? Um, I think that we're all in this world to grow and to be the best we can be. And some people, um, they fight the growth some people remain stagnant in their lives and always it leads to unhappiness it leads to anxiety it leads to depression because within everybody there is the need to grow okay mm -hmm. so would it be fair to say that your music is therapeutic for me <laughs> for me too. i mean I, I like to believe um hopefully for everybody else as well but Yes, I do like a certain type of vibe, um, and that's just something that, you know, I resonate with, because really that's what it's all about. It's all about vibratory mm -hmm. resonation, whatever you resonate with. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. That. Yeah, so Mbutu Speaks really, you know, talks about the importance of cross-cultural awareness, mm -hmm. cross-cultural communication, mm -hmm. and how regardless of where we are in the world, whatever mm -hmm. language we speak, Absolutely. you know, whatever customs we practice, mm -hmm. that we are interconnected, yes. and that I am who I am, because mm -hmm. you are, regardless of all those things that often tends to, you know, separate us. Exactly. So having said that, how do you, how do you see your music or your talent, you know, your genius, crossing those barriers you know again it's certain melodies certain chords that will resonate with whatever frequency somebody is looking for or needing at that time um, I used to be real big in the trap music I you know 
used to love trap music because where I was in my life at the time, it resonated with me. Okay. Um, but now it's more so, you know, now I'm, I resonate more so with smooth, subtle tones, conscious things that have me thinking. And um, just to piggyback on something you said earlier, you know, about um, inner... What? Intercultural. Intercultural. Inter yeah. I think that's very important because, you know, we have... Of course, you know, everybody's just living their best life. Or some of us, most of us are living our best life. And, you know, sometimes there may be things missing in our life that we can't find from our immediate surroundings. Okay. Weird because the answer that you're looking for may be all the way in Asia. Right. So, you know, I definitely believe in interculturalism um, because I found a lot of stuff out about me and about life just from a lot of different philosophies on a lot of different parts of the world. It applied to me. Exactly. So you don't, you know, you have to, it sounds like to me that sometimes, you know, we box ourselves in a certain area Absolutely. within a certain culture, Absolutely. you know, language even, mm -hmm. and, and seek for answers that we might be able to find outside of that box. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. You know, it's, you know, the fact of the matter is there are people right now incarcerated who have never been so free. And there are oh, people... Wow who are outside that have never been so incarcerated and that's just you know we build our own walls mm -hmm. mentally around ourselves that right. prohibits us from you know again living our best life nice. being the best best version of ourselves so. okay and you know and it's really important once we realize uh, we are living our the best version of ourselves you can't help but help someone else Absolutely. do the same thing Oh, man. You know, and uh, and that and that's once again that human interconnectedness that yes. you know is needed in order to solve some of our greatest problems that we are all facing in this world. You know, the idea that we need to come together and music throughout history has always been that it has yes. connected people, yes. has brought people together regardless of language, mm -hmm. regardless you know. Because one thing, having lived overseas in numerous countries, I find that. There are many people who don't speak English but love English mm -hmm. music, love yes. music that's written and sung in English. And sometimes they can sing it themselves but may not know what, mm -hmm. you know, the mm -hmm. song is saying. But they feel that vibration, like you said, Absolutely. that tempo yes. that makes them feel alive. And Absolutely. I really think that's what music does. It and does. so, you know, I just want, I also would like for them to talk, for you to talk about how you are helping through the training that you're doing with young aspiring artists you know getting them to really bring um, that voice out in, outside of themselves and I, yeah I, speak I, a little I, bit about that i do a little vocal training <laughs> <laughs> um i i think that people visualize things in different ways mm -hmm. Um, I talk all the time about how, particularly in my lessons, how um, vocals are really an effect of hearing. Okay. So... I can't sing, so I'm really going to pay attention <laughs> to this right here. The more acute your hearing, the more you can match a note, match a tone, match a run. And that's really what it's all about. Um, there are a lot of people out here with a lot of good music, soulful music helpful music, positive music, um, that will nine times out of ten never be heard mm -hmm. because that is the politics and the world that we're living in today. Um, but I try to, you know, being years in the music industry, I try to share my knowledge freely, knowledge that was um, easily, you know, coveted, easily um, hidden from mainstream society and I give it away freely because I want people to have the best chance to raise the consciousness of humanity and we desperately need it right now. Mm -hmm. I think we're growing as a species but I also think we have a long way to go and I also think that music um, is definitely one of the medicines for it. That's awesome, that's awesome. So one last question mm -hmm. for our Mbutu Speak viewers. Yeah. What is the legacy? Just in one sentence, what are one, you know, a couple of sentences, what's the legacy that you want to leave behind? And 
How do you want to be remembered? I want to be remembered as someone who caused a change for the better in somebody. Oh, that's lovely. At, that is the epitome it. of Mbutu. Yeah, that's it. That's that's yeah. what we're about. Coming together mm -hmm. and sharing what we know. Yes. Sharing our own genius. Absolutely. And making yeah, making the world a better place. Thank you so very much. Enjoy. Mbutu speak viewers as you see together we have had the wonderful opportunity of listening to Joe Andre Cross share his message of Mbutu, his message of love because I heard love throughout everything he was saying that and the the idea and the philosophy that you know what we need each other in order to grow in order to survive in order to to be our better selves so um, before I say goodbye Mm -hmm. Could you please tell them where they can reach you if they want to continue this conversation with you? Um, absolutely. You can just reach me at uh, Joe Andre um, online. That's Instagram. That's Facebook. Um, Joe Andre online. Everything. That's J O E A N D R E online. Everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you want to reach me and know a little bit more about the work that Mbutu Speaks is doing in the community, please go on www. Ubuntu, U-B-U-N-T-U, Speaks, S-P-E-A-K-S-L-L-C.com, and you'll be able to see some of the work that Mbutu Speaks is doing in the community, as well as on Facebook, Mbutu Speaks, and uh, Link Ed, her men's and outside Mbutu Speaks. Great work. So, Thank you very right. much. Uh, once again, I'm Herman Smitsota with Mbutu Speaks, knowing that it is important that you know that I love you and I love humanity. Take care. Peace. Bye-bye. Because I'm going to change the world one song at a time. Wake up out this slumber. Believe the world is mine. Because I'm going to change the world one song at a time. Wake up out this slumber, believe the world is mine. Now who's with me? You, Woo! you.